Well, at one stage in January, only a point separated two clubs with very different financial models in place. Tim Krull made 185 appearances for Newcastle in his 12 years with the club. Grant Hanley made significantly fewer for today's opponents in his short spell on Tyneside. He's partnered by Christoph Zimmerman, only a second Premier League appearance of the season for him. Kenny McLean is fit to play after fracturing his toe. And ahead of him, Pierre Lees Mello has also recovered well after struggling in the latter stages of the game against Manchester United. Timu Puki needs one goal to match his highest tally in a Premier League season. That was in the 2019-20 season when he scored 11. Well, Lucas Shrupp and Josh Sargent are injured and not amongst the Norwich subs today. Well, Eddie Howe promised to freshen things up. He's done that with four changes. No change required in goal. Martin Dubravka plays his third game in a week. Club captain Jamal Lascelles makes only his third start since early February. Alongside him, Dan Byrne makes his 350th senior club appearance. Sean Longstaff and Joe Willett come in alongside man of the moment Bruno Guimaraes, who has already equaled his best goals tally in a league season. Joe Linton makes his 100th Premier League appearance. And Jacob Murphy spent 11 years here, but he's never played against Norwich until today. So it is time, Norwich City, a big day awaits them, and Timu Puki, who earned them a point in the reverse fixture with a sublime goal, gets things underway on a glorious, beautiful day of sunshine here in Norfolk. Here he is again, looking for Jacob Murphy, and it's a good ball from Gimerez. The chance was Murphy's back at the ground. He knows so well, and he will know that is a huge opportunity. What a chance this is for him. Seems to do everything right. He's onside, the ball's an absolute delight. Just goes from the sunshine into the shade. That might just have done something to put him off. Only just went past the post. Decent effort, but you could see he was a little bit annoyed with himself. He didn't do better. Looks interesting, Doyle to chase, big chance for Norwich. And he is brimming with confidence at the moment after last week at Old Trafford. But similar at the other end, this was Norwich' big moment. Oh, he was a bit tight there, could have been offside, but the finish is poor to say the least. Keeper came a long way off, made his mind up for him, but just got it totally and utterly wrong. There, he saw the opportunity. Delivery away by Zimmerman. Potential for Norwich to counter, and this is dangerous. And Pukki could be in. Big moment for Norwich. Look at the desire for Newcastle players to get back. But down running and making the run at the last moment. Pukki picked him out, and it is a huge moment for Norwich. Good look at Lee's Mellow there. Absolutely superb. Desire, incredible. But there, goes round, and there's not another yellow shirt in the picture there. That's a problem, look. Here they come, too late, slightly behind him. But maybe if he takes a little bit off, if he'd gone down there, I'll tell you what, he might have got a penalty. But he didn't, he was honest, stayed on his feet, he's waiting for help. Help finally arrives. Slightly behind him, look, but can't wrap his foot around it. Good opportunity yet again. Here at Norwich came through, made a handful of first-team appearances. Stands over this corner, it is uh, launched goalwards and it wasn't far away at all. It was burned with the final touch. Murphy. He's uh, done well and this will be special if they can find the finish. Longstaff had just overran, but it falls for Joe Linton! And that is a finish of a man brimming with confidence. Newcastle are going from strength to strength. They are loving life in the Premier League at the moment. Well, again, it's that diagonal ball, and Janoulis again <laughs> gets caught out. A lot has come down that side, a lot of interest you see there. Little flicks. I thought they'd overplayed it a little bit there. They just get lucky with that touch. But Joe Linton takes full advantage of the look that comes his way. What a finish this is. Smashes it, just top corner. Cruel, not a chance. Knew exactly what he wanted to do as soon as it came his way. A little bit of luck with a touch off the Norwich defender.
Well, it will just be checked for a possible offside. And this one may be close. It is close, isn't it? Well, this looks like he may be onside. Such a lovely build-up. And the finish was uh, quite something special from Joe Linton. A couple of checks, and the goal is indeed confirmed on his 100th Premier League appearance. Joe Linton produces a finish of 100% quality. Gimerez, and he has uh, put Murphy through its uh, chance for two. Nelly squared it to Joe Linton, and it's double trouble for Norwich. Joe Linton with his second of the game, and Newcastle have done it again. Well, again, just torn apart, far too easy. Look at this, two of them, not just one of them. And they just get the block in there, they get a little bit unlucky again. Must have thought he'd done well here, but look, there's two, three. Again, Norwich had just totally switched off. And I'll tell you who didn't, Joe Linton. But he just left it a little bit too late for the shot. He got half a block in there, but look, the luck goes against you. That could have gone anywhere. But fell to Joe Linton. But that's what good players do. They expect the unexpected. They gamble. This could be about to get worse for Norwich. It's target with the delivery. Longstaff coming in. And that should have been better. One of those three step forward. Sometimes you look at the bench and the strength of the bench before you look at the team. And you look at that Newcastle. Problems here, and Gamarez could score again for Newcastle. What about that for a finish? Cool, calm, collected. Newcastle rampant. And for Norwich City, their Premier League status increasingly perilous. Well, what a class finish this is. But look how it happens. It's all sloppy again. Playing it back, playing it into a dangerous area. Absolutely ridiculous. I, don't, I just don't get this sometimes. You don't have to do it all the time. Look, it just gives it away, puts the defender under pressure. It's a wonderful finish from a Brazilian international. And he must know as soon as he's played that, he's made a big mistake. Tim Krul. He's been brilliant for Norwich, but the jet was just needless. What a little finish that was. Beautifully done. You have to have so much confidence just to have the ability to dink that over, and he's got it in abundance. And it could be about to get worse for Norwich. St Maximin does have a go and stun the palms of Tim Krul. Dowell and Rashid set over this. It is Dowell and it's turned away by Dubravka. He tested the Newcastle goalkeeper. Who has he? This is a decent free kick. Gets it up and over very quickly. Gets across really well. Does what he has to. Just has to palm it away from danger, but he had to scramble across pretty quickly there. Good goalkeeping. Picks out Joel Linton, just about. Here is Joel Linton on a hat-trick, and Krull was equal to it. Well, Target had made a lovely run again down the left-hand side, but you can't blame him for going for this. Desperate for a hat-trick. Strikes it well, Krull gets behind it. Joel Linton. Robbed of possession, and this could let Pookie in. And that drifts past the post. Pookie felt, uh, Pookie felt there was a touch, but perhaps just sums up Norwich's season. Yeah, just on side. It's a tight angle. If the keeper gets beat from there, he should be in trouble. Difficult to see, but did take a touch. Pookie convinced it did. Richie and 
a lot of space on the right hand side but some maximum takes it back in woods and uh, it is willick and just tries to catch out krill at his near post but the goalkeeper the former newcastle goalkeeper equal to it he certainly did try to catch him out of the near post Well, can they add uh, further? And Tim Krull forced to react. It was a uh, heavy deflection from Willick's effort. That's a decent save by the look of it, because it was a big deflection. Here is Almiron. Newcastle want a fourth. Willick. Almiron again. Could it be 4-0? And it's one the Newcastle fans may have thought was in from... Uh, this side of the ground, but uh, very much into the side netting. Here come Norwich, and the shot is from Rowe and uh, held by Dubravka. It is the last action of this game at Carrow Road this afternoon. Dean Smith watching his team suffer a damaging day. Mathematically, it is still possible for Norwich to stay up, but highly damaging. They look all but relegated with just five games left to play. But for that man, Joel Linton, he was the one who did and inflicted most of the damage in that first half. Two goals, including a brilliant finish for his, fo for his first. Uh, back post, one for his second after good build-up from Newcastle. Uh, Bruno Guimaraes, the man of the moment, added with a dink in the second half, some gloss to the scoreline as Newcastle impressed again. It has finished here at Carrow Road, Norwich City nil, Newcastle United 3. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch highlights all season long and be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend at 7am Eastern. And for even more content, head over to Peacock where we've got live games, original series and a dedicated round-the-clock Premier League channel featuring studio shows, classic matches and much more.